Are you ready? Hi, right, my name is Boylad. I'm with Santa Fe Media Network, and I'm with April Holder. April Holder. Uh, so, what brings you to Santa Fe? Uh, I'm here to do IFAM. IFAM? Yes. Okay. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Shawnee, Oklahoma. All right. And uh, what what brings you with uh, what what brings your art out? Um, well, a lot of my work is influenced from uh, family photos. Uh, it's a reinterpretation of um, kind of a personal history and identity, but related to um, actual physical materials of my tribe. Um, I'm Sagat Fox. We do a lot of ribbon work and. Um, I like to pay tribute to that sort of history and culture that my family has. And, um, so I incorporate threads, lace, fabrics, materials, and with the acrylic and the paint. Because uh, I myself cannot sew, but I, I'm like I'm an aficionado. I appreciate it. I enjoy it. And I think it's good to look at how all these things construct a sense of identity and a relationship of uh, who my family is as, as a history. Cool. So, so like some of the images, that's my Aunt Valerie when she was younger, myself, my brother. Uh, some images are, you know, um, my child. And so I incorporate threads, embroidery floss, fabrics, all sorts of mediums to create the pieces. And then it's also about uh, allowing there to be a tangible experience for the viewer. Um, the line, the color comes off the canvas. I encourage people to touch it, to experience it. I think it's something that's an uh, amazing sensation that people can relate to. So. Oh. Um. Who is the style that you picked up from? Is it, is it rather your own, original? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I I started looking at investigating my own method of mark making. And uh, a lot of like with my drawing work, it's a buildup of scribbles of line. And to me, that's something so instinctual. I think we do it as children. And so what I did was refine that into um, building up images like this with ink. It's just all small marks made with a bamboo pen dipped in ink. And it creates the larger image. And then I decided to translate that with the thread onto the paintings. So each piece of thread is placed on there individually. And it's adhered with a, um, a, a matte medium or a gloss medium to the acrylic. So, but I like it because then it allows people to see my work. And they literally get to touch the line and the color and all the elements of the piece. I right. appreciate your work. Yeah, you. I really do Thank like you. it. We've been looking at it a lot today. Thank you. Um, is there any other words you'd like to express? Your people or anybody back home? Or we have, we have a lot of followers that are watching this right now. So. Oh, uh, um, you know, I, I like that I get the opportunity to make work for my people. You know, I mean, we come here as artists to participate in a market, but I believe that all indigenous artists, we create work for our generations. Out of respect for the ones that came before us and to help, you know, influence the ones that are I think that's an amazing thing. It's a wonderful legacy we get to leave, you know, for people as artists, as musicians, dancers, visual artists, everything. You know, a lot of my work I make is for my child, and I think a lot of artists are the same way. Cool. Motivation. Yes, exactly. Right. I like exactly. that. Cool, cool. Alright, that wraps it about it, so we're done here. Thank you. <laughs>